Hey, Psych2Goers. Is there something you wish you could tell your past self? Sometimes life lessons have to be learned the hard way and come too late. Life is full of twists and turns, and it can oftentimes be difficult to stay on top of it all the time. But it's during these times of distress you face growth and long-term fulfillment. To help you live your best life, here are 10 life lessons we learned too late. Number one, time doesn't last forever. Have you been working towards a lifelong goal? Time is fleeting. As you grow older, you'll gain more wisdom, money, and memories, but you'll also have less time to experience it all. Aligning yourself with what you truly want can help make your time feel more fulfilling. Maybe that would entail some tough sacrifices at the present moment, like stepping out of a toxic relationship or fixing a bad habit. These sacrifices may sting but you'll eventually grow out of the pain and enter a new, happier era of your life. Are you subscribed to Psych2Go? According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you enjoy our content and would like to support us, do consider subscribing. This helps YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number two, you need to take the risk. Do you play what if situations constantly in your head? As you grow older, you'll start to look back and ponder on your past self's choices. People at an older age will start to reflect on whether they've lived a meaningful life. Many are at peace with the decisions they've made, but some will feel a sense of despair and look back with feelings of regret, shame, and disappointment. You may fail a couple of times, but ignore that nagging voice in your head and take that risk. Number three, don't act like someone you're not. Do you put up a fake front in front of others so that you won't feel out of place? It's normal to feel the need to fit in a crowd. It's how our ancestors made sure they didn't get left behind to fend for themselves. It's a shared human trait. But if you don't stick up for what you believe in, you'll live under a false masked identity. You may end up as someone that constantly wants to please others at the expense of your own happiness. Number four, take care of your body. Do you eat well, sleep well, and regularly exercise? Remember, you only have one body. Your early years and habits dictate the way your health will transform and grow in the future. Do you drink a full glass of water with your meal? Do you run or exercise? How about sleeping a good eight hours every night? Build up your healthy habits now so that your future self will be happy that you're still healthy at 70. Number five, don't be too tough on yourself. Do you talk negatively about yourself? Making mistakes can be distressing at times, especially if your mistake has negatively impacted other people. You may resort to thinking negatively about yourself during those moments, calling yourself a failure, dumb, or stupid. But by beating yourself down, you're structuring your mind into one that regards pessimism as your normal mindset. A self-defeating mind can decrease your motivation, worsen a sense of helplessness, and even cause depression. Number six, building strong relationships. Do you have a hard time opening up even with your friends? People who have good relationships with family, friends, and loved ones not only have fewer health problems as they age, but they feel more fulfilled too. Fostering a positive social life can impact how your life will pan out. Whether you find your circle at school or work, having genuine bonds with people is one of the most important things in life. Number seven, life throws curveballs. Have you been waiting for something great to happen only for life to take it away from you? No matter how ready you initially were, sometimes plans don't always go your way. Factors outside of your control could stop or hinder your plans, and you're just left to react to them. During these moments, it can be tempting to stop and give up. But while it may seem difficult to get back up, know that it'll be worth it if it's something you truly are passionate about. Number eight, material goods don't bring your life joy. Do you live extravagantly or purchase things impulsively? Money is an important tool, but it can lead many people astray. If you let it dictate you, you'll focus your efforts on just increasing a number in your bank account while sacrificing the things that make life truly worth it. Life isn't about a new phone or that luxury bag. If you spend your time chasing after material goods, you'll take time away from the other parts of your life as well. Reflect on what's important to you. Chances are it's something money can't buy. Number nine, don't give up too quickly. Remember when you started a good habit strong but failed to follow through after a while? 
you can't achieve something without putting in the effort. Sometimes this effort will last you many hours and weeks before you'll truly see results. This can be daunting for many people, even causing them to stop right as their journey starts to kick off. You don't have to work all at once to get ahead and succeed in what you set yourself out to be. You just have to do small, consistent steps every day. And after some time, you'll see your efforts bear fruit. And number 10, be grateful every day. Each moment, each day, each second that passes won't return. While some days may be hard or even months and years, life only happens once. Be grateful for the little things and the big things and everything in between. Life isn't always beautiful. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what separates the bad days from the good days. Focus and be grateful for those good days and days that make life worth living. And you'll realize that your life story isn't all that bad after all. So will you take any of these lessons and apply them? Have these life lessons helped change your thinking? Life isn't a linear path. It's full of ups, downs, and in-betweens. And there's no right or wrong path. Without the expectations of others and money, choose the path that you feel the happiest in. And don't be afraid to take the plunge. Your future self will be happy you lived for your own conviction and passion. Did you find this video valuable? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and share it with friends that might find insight in this video as well. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.